The best young racers from around the globe compete for a chance to break into the big time of world-class racing. Many can be in the top 100. Only a special few make it to the top 10. These are the young guns of racing. I gotta get it down the track, so that's my part, but they're the major part. With her being a new driver, it's important that the crew that she had behind her was behind her. So really, just for four races, it's hard to get people on your team. For me, it's an honor to be in invited to us to work here. Just because we're new doesn't mean that we're going to run at the back of the pack. Her team is second to none, and that's the way the collateral organization is. It's a team effort. They are half, if not more, of the equation. Without them, there is no car. These guys have been racing for, for a very long time, the Kalito organization. Jim Oberhofer, Connie, I mean, he's a legend. When I first met Connie Coletta, I thought, what a nice man. I knew about his history, you know, world champion, everything else. But I also could look into his eyes and his soul as we talked. And when he said to me, I'm going to make sure Alexis is safe and we're going to take care of her. I knew as a father that this was a real genuine, down to earth, no BS guy that was saying it like it was. Alexis is a real racer. She wants to race and she wants to win. And she's an excellent driver. She, you know, she'll win races. When I got put in charge of putting this team together, I spent a lot of time just thinking about people that I would want that understand what it's like to be part of not only a team, but part of a family as well. We took different people from, from other teams in, in, in the Coletta Motorsports Factor and uh, built the team. We rely heavily on our people. We're, we're kind of the total opposite of NASCAR where they're on the racetrack for you know 40 minutes and they're in the pits for 10 seconds. You know, we're in the pits for 60 minutes, we're on the racetrack for four seconds. As a startup team at this point of the season, it's very hard to find qualified good help because all the other teams are doing that and they're out competing for championships. We pulled guys from the other cars. A guy here, you know, from Doug's car, a guy from Grubby's car. I, I pulled a guy from my old alcohol team. A couple guys from the DHL Funny Car. We brought three guys out from Australia, and it all worked out. I worked with Alexis for about uh, three years on her alcohol funny car. Presently, I am doing one side of the engine, and then uh, cylinder heads, maintenance, and I also drive the uh, transporter, the big rig. Well, we've had a relationship with Coletta Motorsports. Jim Oberhofer and Connie Coletta have been very, very supportive of our efforts down in Australia, and we came over here and learned the way they do things. Bruce and his guys have learned how to work on a race car from us. I called them up, and uh, Bruce, along with his, uh, his guys, Corey and Danny, came over. So we got together and checked with our employers down home that it was OK to disappear for three months, and here we are. They just fit right in. Our dreams come true, and here we are. And all the guys from the whole Coletta team have just been so supportive. It's just been a really great experience and um, we're loving it. It's awesome, rubbing shoulders with all the best and the experience of the way they turn their cars around and that. The three of us, myself and Danny and Corey, are, we're trying to work at where we can come back next season. The Coletta's have been um, fabulous enough to offer us full-time jobs for next year if we want it. Yeah, we got some decisions that have to be made. Basically, um, go back, speak with the family, our employers and we have to go from there, I suppose. So. If we have to go, it's going to be awfully tough to go. For being so last minute, I think we're doing great. My job right now is I'm building the racks. I do rod and piston assembly. Everything's going great. You know, our turnarounds are going fast, and we're all getting along really well. It's working out really, really good. I mean, these guys are on the road constantly. It's like they see each other more than they see their own families at times. We choose to go and hang out with each other. We choose to go to dinner together. Last night, we all went out for Italian and had a blast. From day one, we were just cruising, laughing, joking. We give each other hell. You know, everybody gives as good as they get. It's just just chemistry with the guys and with the two, two ladies on the team. It's just. It's it's like nothing I've been in. We like to be with each other, we like to be around each other, and it's, it's proving something because we're doing well, the car's running good. We're very, very fortunate, you know, to have the people that we have. And that's what makes a great team, not just proficient people, but people that work together cohesively with happiness, love, and respect one another beyond belief. Working out fine, you know, there's not, no dumb mistakes that have happened, you know, so that means that people got their act together. If I didn't think that this team could do it, then, you know, I wouldn't be here, but, um, gosh, we're just, we're a really good team. 
I am so happy. I can't even express how amazed I am at this whole operation and how well everything's been going. Yeah, I'm trying to get over the emotional hurdle of do I stay or do I go. I, I know what I'm going to be like. I'm going to get off the plane, I'm going to say hello to everyone, and I'm going to get back on the plane. <laughs>